Like they, I think what they don't realize is you have introduced a now military combat situation upon the United States government. Like based on the breach that you've just done in security, you're threatening not just the political process, but the nation's capital and like breaking and entering in there, she's Louise. I honestly think they had no idea. Like they weren't that self-aware. They thought that it was funny. Mm -hmm. Like taking pictures and stuff. Now let's create evidence of our felony as well. Right. No, I, it was, it's fucking, it's fucking crazy. I, I still can't really believe it. And uh, the fallout is going to be so interesting because like, there, you see so many bits and pieces. I, I followed it quite a bit on the day of, but like, it's impossible to say exactly how. Like, you can say what happened, like quite, quite frankly, but to see the different parts and like how people got in and like the whole thing is so insane. There's so many angles and and people trying to analyze like what actually happened during that entire event. It's so. It's so incredible, man. Like that, I couldn't believe. I can't actually believe I'm living through the history. You know. Well, it's it's of the caliber that you know it's going to be investigated. So we'll kind of oh, see. Yeah. I'm this not really going to make specific predictions of what happened exactly, because because you know that's like one of the top items now of figuring out what the fuck happened. Of course. So. Do you? Know, I think a bunch of people been arrested, right? Like sixty something. Mm, I don't know. I like 60 something mm -hmm. arrests and there's like 50 something officers were injured and stuff like that. Damn. Am I quiet? I, I, I look pretty loud on my end. But I don't I don't know what Nero's Discord settings are. He sounds good on mine. I don't know if I do I need to turn him up, chat. Kale's Imantian's Canadian and he just loves stirring the pot, so don't mind him. It's literally his pastime. Yeah, yeah, apparently very... three people died of a heart attack. Command center upgrade complete. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Sure, I was just giving you a, <laughs> a forewarning. A cop died today also? Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Somebody One in thing... chat said that, that 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 was my take or whatever, like I don't- that's definitely not, like, the, the idea that it was just, like, a parade gone wrong is certainly not my take. So, like, I know that's probably not what you'd think, but it's not. I, that's- that was super fucked up. I, so, I agree that it was incited. For people unclear about this, what they did was they barged in on confirming who is going to be the president with the Electoral College. Yeah. Which is a major part of, like, just the political process rounding itself out for this whole- experience of yes, people have done yeah. their votes and you get the people who are up for election <clears throat> and then based on how people vote you get that many delegates but they still have to do some stuff in an office before mm. it's officially 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 confirmed and that's what was happening which is why they were rushing it that day and the thing that is annoying to a lot of people is we knew that this was a what january the 6th scheduled thing yeah. So you would think that they would be pretty careful about it. Like, we know people might try to start some shit this day, so we're going to just beef up the security a little bit just to make sure everything is steady as she goes and smooth for the transition of power and whoever gets confirmed as the next president and so on. But it was a mess, like, really unprofessional. Regardless of what your political orientation and affiliation is, the way that the security situation was handled was like, yeah, extremely so to me, incorrect. It was almost like I, I don't know where I've heard this. So like, forgive me if I'm completely mistaken. It was almost like there were so many people that showed up that it was like completely futile for them to like resist without, like, without the national guard pretty much there, mm -hmm. right? Like. Because there were thousands of people at that protest, and and there's no way that like there wasn't enough security at the at the White House at all. Mm. But there's so many factors there. Like I know that this is people are saying that this was like organized, um, like many days in advance, like publicly on on social media and stuff. So like I don't know, man. It, it's really weird. The whole thing is very odd. 
And honestly, like, I almost feel like it's... No matter what way you're looking at it, it feels like almost like a conspiracy theory because nobody really knows. Like, there's so many variables going into it, like how how it got organized and stuff like that. Mm. It's just so... So ridiculous, like the idea that... Like, if it was really... Was it really intentionally unprofessional and disorganized? Like, is that possible? Like, holy shit. If it is... Well... From a military standpoint, it's embarrassing because you're talking about basically your main base just got yeah. dropped, and like, what are what else are you defending if you're not defending your main base? What what do you do? Right. And I think the issue was the well, I'm just guessing at one of the factors. One of the factors is the people who are perpetrating it are. American citizens who have some idea for why they are justified in doing that right as opposed to if it were people from outside the US I think the response would have been pretty different correct but it's like these are confused people who think that they ought to break in here and do something well, what do we do in all in all fairness until they broke into the White House what they were doing was theoretically a peaceful protest uh -huh. like so like what are you supposed to do because that is their right, right? Like, I mean, that's what everyone said before, and and I and I agree, and and it is. If it's a if it's a peaceful protest, you have absolutely the highest right to do so. Like, I, I you can't. I think it's really tough to argue that they don't. I, I don't think you can, especially in the states where it's. I think it's constitutionally written, but mm. like, as soon as they break the the they break through the doors, right? Like, that's now we've crossed into. It's funny when you think about it that literally there's like one step between like peaceful like peaceful protest and <laughs> complete chaos. Mm -hmm. It's it's complete madness. Well, so embarrassing. Hopefully we can learn from this. That's sort of my mindset with a lot of 2020, which is I mean, yeah, it sucks and yeah, it's really dumb, but yeah, yeah. Uh if it's going to allow us to be on guard more effectively in the future, then we have gained something from it. Same thing with a lot of the different presidential norms that have been broken. Every every culture has this aspect, and I talk about this a lot with Agent Smith when we do the political stuff on Sundays, which is yeah. a lot of what our behavior is is guided not specifically by laws, but we act within an, another set of boundaries, which is norms of like what is right. the expected thing for you to do in this role right and sometimes people have just all been following that norm so you haven't really needed to make a rule to enforce not going outside of that because people just generally do the right thing or they exist within those boundaries and those norms and our current president until biden is sworn in basically just said how much can i walk outside of these norms without walking outside what the president can physically do right it's kind of like the pirates approach to the presidential office there are two rules what i can do and what i can't do and that's it instead of what is the presidential thing to do what is the precedent set by former presidents and how can i conduct myself in a way that other people would be kind of proud of that which is a difficult assessment to make because his fan base would certainly like when he breaks norms but yeah it's, well, it's unprecedented yeah, I mean, we haven't had someone who's violated so many norms so i it's mean kind of i like, think do we need to make rules now for these the consensus is generally that um I, I don't think so because i think the one i don't want to say it's nice but the one i'll say the one nice thing about ending a presidency that like in the way that he's run it like this is that like it shows you like there's a reason that there's such a thing as being presidential like this is where acting like this guy ends Hmm. You know, like it's a bookend on 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 chaos, truly. You know, and I don't mean nice as in like a sun, like sun, like a I don't know, like the ironic twist at the end of a book. You know, it just makes sense that there's a reason that uh, you know a leader leads the way that they do. Hmm. I was. But really I think I think there's no doubt in my mind he got elected because he was like he he even if he wasn't really anti-establishment he acted like, he acted like it 
But yeah, he is good at the right. image management of posing as an outsider candidate when really he he does all of the stuff that he of course. was kind of promising. Yeah, he's he was been making gonna, money but... his whole life off the back of it. That's just yeah. That's what he did. Well, I have a personal. I don't know if I would call it a weakness, but it's an attribute that sometimes is a a bad one to have in that I expect everyone to have a Darth Vader moment where, yes, they've done a bunch of bad stuff, but they have goodness in them and they're going to make a good decision yeah, you and give have a people redemption arc. Benefit of the doubt and, and yeah, I got, I got you. Yeah. Right. So with him, I've thought a lot of times about like, what if he actually like, grew through this process and what if he actually realized some stuff like he lost the election and just conceded <laughs> that fact like i i've woken up so many days since the the election and been like yeah he'll probably throw in the towel like uh, it's it's pretty clear right. at this point like it's been taken to court in multiple states his strat didn't work it's like it's time to just like hang up the hat and be like all right yep it was an interesting meme and uh, now it's this guy's turn, but it doesn't happen. And he keeps like saying that it's stolen over and over again. It's like, really, dude? Is this is this the narrative that we're gonna end off with? I guess so. I guess that's how he wants to tie up the story. Being graceful in defeat is a more difficult life skill than I think a lot of people realize. Oh, dude. And that's a big defeat. You're. You're having one of the most televised defeats that you could physically have, which makes it that much harder to admit. You lose a ladder game against somebody. Yeah, it's a defeat. Yeah, it stings and it sucks, but most people don't even know that you had that defeat. Whereas in this case, the world knows the U.S. president result. Like, that's bigger than the Super Bowl. And that's sports. People love sports. Yeah. Are under attack. Hmm. Well, I mean, so he did concede publicly via Twitter today, but this is a classic too little too late moment. Like, he conceded the, the day after all of that shit. <laughs> yeah, he did. The, he So they banned him off Twitter. Uh. Like, so, no, sorry, they suspended him off Twitter. And then there, and then when he came back, he was like, "All right, we're gonna have a peaceful transition." I was like, "Oh lordy, lordy! Look at that! Look at that!" Yeah, man, it was a stressful day yesterday for sure, though. The year is 2021. The memes are dank. Maybe too dank. Hmm.